Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcasts. I'm your host, Kevin Stafford. And today I have with me Mbone Umbima, um, a lovely name that I am just, I'm so pleased that I got it right on that first try. I will butcher it later. But speaking about her, um, a background in organizational change, um, Mbone has earned a reputation of, gen- of, of being a genuine change agent and a trailblazing brand and marketing executive. Uh, Coupled with her experience as an executive coach and corporate social responsibility leader, few people have the depth and breadth of experience that Mbone has. And I'd love to talk about that because a lot of people will have one and not the other, or they focus on one and not the other, thinking that they have to have one and not the other, that you can go deep, but you can't go broad. You can go broad, but you can't go deep. And making deep connections with a lot of people is sounds like your cup of tea. So Mbone, welcome to the podcast. (laughs) Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Let's begin at the beginning. What yeah. got you into coaching? Like what, what was the inspiration? What prompted you to begin a career in coaching? Yeah, so it, it kind of happened by accident, um, I think. Is there an accident? I don't even believe there's coincidences, but <laughs> <laughs> what, what it is is because of my background in organizational communication, I tend to always end up being paired up with um, executive leaders. So maybe I'm supporting a CEO or a director, an SVP, and what ends up happening because I'm helping them curate the communication for the organization, then we end up being in this space where I'm asking questions so that we're creating clarity for (laughs) the organization. And one day I was talking to a good friend of mine and she was like, you know, that's coaching, right? (laughs) (laughs) I was like, no, let me look into this coaching thing. And um, by the time I kind of um, got into my master's program and all aligned. It was part of the organizational development piece, but then also I went back and got um, certification in what's called the Actualized Leadership Profile, which is a tool that you use to kind of, it's like any of the other tools, but this one I found quite profound because it looks at your, how you are when you are in your light and how you are when you're in your shadow and understanding that shadow piece so that it doesn't manage you and you manage it. And in some cases where it can be actually um, a tool you bring into, um, into how you move. And so that's how it all began. I love that. And if I find it, um, it's, it's a very common story with, but every, every individual story is unique where essentially it just, a coach realized that they were coaching and were like, oh, I should probably look into that. <laughs> like you just, right. the natural, your character, the natural outgrowth of the way that you ask and answer questions and the service that you provide and the way that you help people. It just, you realize, you don't just choose to become a coach and then go become a coach. You realize you are a coach and then right. begin a business or begin a practice in that direction. It's, and I feel like there, I, well, we won't get it too deep into that, but I feel like there are a lot of, a lot of life lessons in that realization. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I mean, and I just love the way you pull that together for me because every coach I know was kind of already coaching. And then they were like, let me get the papers. <laughs> let me get the <laughs> but it really is, that is the journey. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Boom, mind Boom. <laughs> <laughs> So speaking of journeys of realization, um, coaches are uh, very often guides, um, basically an, an, an assistant or not I mean assistant. I, I, like, I like the word guide quite a bit because there's essentially this feeling of not behind, not in front of, but alongside guiding someone to the places that they, maybe they know they want to go there, maybe they don't know yet, but helping them realize and see the way forward. Um, and each coach, though they're doing generally the same thing, usually have something that's particular or even unique about the way they go about doing it. So what would you say is, and again, interpret unique that word as however you would like, particular, specific, what's unique about your coaching practice and your, and your clientele? Yeah, no, that's a great question. I mean, and then we kind of touched on it a little bit earlier in the sense that I end up being um, a coach to executives just by the nature of how my role at my company um, has evolved. But in addition to that, then a lot of word of mouth because of working with certain people is what has really grown this piece, for me, this coaching piece of the business. So I do it within my organization, but then also um, I do it on a personal level, if you will. Um, And I'm very selective Um, over the years. I've learned also about energy and making sure that that energy aligns so that I'm not just taking any client. but really choosing who my clients are because I can see their 
potential and they want to move towards their full potential. And so that really drives how I then engage um, with clients. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if I've answered. Uh, no, it, it, it does. And it, it, I mean, it, it not just answers that question, but it's, it speaks directly to what we're talking about, which is more important than answering the specific question. And I just love that. Um, and it's something that not, not every coach does a good job of thinking about, is thinking about not just the fit from their perspective. It's like, you know, how am I going to be able to fit and help this person, but making sure that they're a good fit for you as well. It's just like any other relationship. It's not just about one person being right for the other. It's about you being right together. It's a, it's a right collaboration. It's, it's got the, um, I like that word you used alignment. It's in that yeah. right alignment um, mm -hmm. so that you can actually do the work that needs doing because without that, without that connection coming from both sides, you're going to be fighting against forces that maybe you can't see or identify. And it's just not going to be as fruitful of a relationship for either side. Absolutely. And and so for me, my personal experience, I've always found that if there's no alignment, then there's a deficit of energy. And whether it's going to come from you or the client, but there'll be a deficit. And then when it's out of balance, you're not moving. Because, you know, it's trying to like trying to drive a car with only three wheels. <laughs> this, you know, yeah. And so, yeah, I know you bring up, I, I love the way you put it, because that also cleared that for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in my head, I have the I have that that analogy, that mental image of a car with three wheels, and you're hitting the gas, and it's moving, yeah. sort of, but it's kind of going in circles, and it's kind of like yeah. it's painful, and there's a lot of friction, and there are sparks flying, and not the good kind. You know, it's it's a good analogy; it really works. <laughs> yes, no, absolutely, absolutely. So let's let's talk about the present and near future um, for your coaching practice in in, in particular. Um, where are you, where are you growing? Where are you looking to grow into? Are you looking to expand your clientele? Do you have any, any programs or courses or anything like that, um, that you kind of have on the horizon that you're working on? Um, I mean, some, like half the coaches I talk to are either have recently finished or are about to start writing a book of some kind or some sort of like, you know, guide or whatever. So what, what's, what's, what's coming up for you? Yeah, no, that's a great question and thank you for asking. So the first thing is that I, I have, and I did share with you this article that I posted on LinkedIn. Hmm. I had been working on a book for, for the longest time and I decided that <clears throat> what I wanted to do is kind of release it in small bits in terms of articles where it is people are able to consume it. And for me, my biggest desire and my secret agenda <laughs> as I say, <laughs> is to, to um, bring... Um, heart and and um, empathy into corporate America. Mm -hmm. That's my key driver. And what's so exciting for me right now is that the science has finally caught up with the logic mm -hmm. of why you need to put that in place. Because when people come and show up to work, you know, as their whole selves fully expressed, then they're more productive, they're more engaged. And, you know, in this day and age where we're trying to be innovative and push and, and, and all of that, that's actually what's needed. And it really opens you up to multi, like a multitude of possibilities. When you're you know, so much in your head, you really limit your possibilities because you know the brain does that binary thinking. It's either right or wrong, yes or no. And that doesn't really give you options. And so um, I have been releasing this on purpose and there's a class that I started to build, which I for now have called Future Class. Because it really, you know, for us as coaches, you know, we we break down, you know, how we, we look at habits and the things that we're doing and how to expand all of that. But then I wanted to go from the perspective of, okay, let's envision what's possible for you in terms of your highest and best self, mm -hmm. in terms of what is your ideal, um, what does your dream life look like? And let's start to understand how does that go? How does that happen? Is it possible? But that's what I want to open up for everyone with this class. And so um, I would say we are 70% there. Um, and I want to be able to release this early next year. Excellent. Excellent. And, and you're basically, you're releasing pieces of this basically on LinkedIn is where people can find these, these, these chunks, these, these teases, these previews. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So if you follow me on LinkedIn and, and my profile, then you will be able to be abreast with everything that's happening. The best place to go to get, get to get all things you, everything that's that, that's presently happening and coming coming soon. I love that. Yeah. And yeah, I just I I just I'm 
have so many of the things you're saying are like there. I mean, you're inspiring more and more thoughts and it's very hard for me to like keep them down. I'm going to have to like scribble a bunch of notes down after this, after this chat, but I just love that, uh, that distinction that you made. Um, and you didn't make it specifically in these words, but it's the words that popped into my head, sort of a distinction between just effort and actual work. And that work yeah. involves emotion and vision and taking the time to actually look and see what's needed and what's required and which way the, you know, the water is flowing. And then to also apply effort in a, in a, in an informed way, informed, not just by the binary of the brain, but by the head and the heart, you know? And I feel like there's a, dis there's a distinction there where for a long time in corporate America, effort was, was the top of the food chain. Just, you know, work, you know, put in your 80 hours, put in your hundred hours, you just do what it takes. You just throw more of your vital essence at a thing and it's going to get done. And we're slowly, but surely realizing that that's, that's not the whole story, that effort is certainly powerful, but that there's something more profound to do. And that I like to think of that as work because work for me has your head up and your eyes open while you're still applying that same kind of effort, but you're just getting just exponentially more results out of it. And I, I just, I love that we're, we're coming to a place now where there's like you were saying, scientific backing. There's actual, there are numbers that we can point to to satisfy the little binary brain because it needs to be quieted down sometimes. <laughs> so you can, you can give it what it wants and then get to work. And I, I, I love that you're right in the middle of that right now. And I love um, that we're all in different stages in our lives, in our careers. So for those that need to move in the space where now they're innovating and thinking openly and not necessarily putting in all that effort, they're there. And then for the people who are in the space where they're understanding that they can put in that effort and see results, they're there. And so it all comes together very beautifully. One of the things that I love to say to everyone is that everything is always, everything is connected. Everything is connected. And so we don't all have to be in this space. We don't all have to be in this space, but if we are fully um, showing up wherever we are, then we're doing a great service, not just to our organizations and, and the people that we work with, our customers and so on, but also to ourselves. Trust and show up. And typically with those two things in place, just trust that we're connected and then show up to do the work and everything flows from there. It's just, mm -hmm. it's, we can talk about it for hours and I feel like I could talk to you for hours. This is very like, I'm enjoying this so much. Um, but it's also as much as we can talk about it and as important as it is to talk about, it, it's also just very simple. It's yeah. very simple. And you, you have a very good, a good way of simplifying it without um, emptying it of meaning. It's simplified, but also very full. And I just, I, I'm beside myself a little bit. You, as, you may, as you might tell, I'm a little bit inspired. So I think this might be a good place to stop so I don't keep you for any longer than I already have. <laughs> um, no, I appreciate your time. This has been so much fun. Yeah, this has actually been great. And I honestly, this has made my day. This is, this energy is going to power me through the rest of the day and the week. And yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for being here today. And of course, thank the audience for, you know, tuning in as it were. Um, and we will talk to you all soon. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs>